Hey guys! I am so happy to be live today. I was not able to get on yesterday. I don't know what was going on. I wanted to get on live at least. Hey, hey, hey. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. I cannot believe it's already Wednesday. Um, I hope you guys had a great um, long weekend for the 4th of July. Um, I have a pretty great message to share with you guys today. Uh, I'm going to share this on over. If you're jumping on live and want to pop on and say hello, that would be awesome. I always love to see who's live and say hi back before I jump in and tell you about my explanation for this uh, this little statement. I get a lot of questions from people asking me, what does it mean? Like, what do you mean live on purpose? And I guess I've never really explained that thoroughly. So today I'm going to. Give me one sec. All right. Whoops. What in the hell just happened? Wow. That was weird. Anyway. <laughs> craziness. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hey, Amanda. Thanks for jumping on. All right, guys, so what does it mean to live on purpose? Now, obviously, the detailed explanation of living on purpose um, is going to be really different for, other, for each person. Our definition of happiness, our definition of success, our definition of um, living our life the way you know, we dream, desire, obviously, all have different dreams and desires. So it's going to vary regardless on the person, but the, um, the principle is still the same. So I want to talk about what that means and how you can get there on your own, like how you, what you can start doing right now to live on purpose. Okay. So here's the thing. What it means to live on purpose is to not just go through the motions. You're not just getting up every day and going through what you think you need to be doing or what someone else told you to do, you're doing what you choose. You're um, doing what feels good to you. You're doing what you're called to do. You're using your personality, your thought process, your plans, your desires to live your life the way that you want to. And that does not mean that because you don't feel like going to work that you don't go to work. That's not what I mean. What I mean, though, is that you're using your own brain and your own thought process and you're very, very conscious in what you're doing every day. So you're not just going through the motions. Does that make sense? Okay, that's a big, big thing. And living on purpose also means that you're clear on what it is that you want your life to look like. And then you're taking action to make sure that your life is there. Not, not every day is going to be sunshine and roses, but that doesn't mean that it's still not the life that you want. You understand what I mean? Like you still can, can control your state of mind. You can control the things, um, the way that you react to, to things and the way that you um, choose to spend your time and your money and your um, where you put your attention, things like that. Like those are choices that you personally make. So that to me is living life on purpose. Waking up every day and choosing that you're going to spend your morning a certain way is living on purpose because those things are important to you. It, and it gets you to, um, it's taking you down a clear path that you have made for yourself. That's living your life on purpose. Getting really, really clear on exactly what it is that, like your perfect day, not to sound like totally cliche, but like what does that look like to you? And then taking the action to get you there, living your life on purpose, right? Um, the other thing is really staying on task. Like if you know that your desire in life is to purchase this house in this other town, you know, and it costs as much more money and your goal is to work towards that, then are you taking those steps? Like, are you living on purpose? Are you purposely taking the steps that you need to get there? You know what I mean? Does this make sense? And the other thing really is you have to be present. Like you must be present in every decision and every reaction and every spoken word and everything that you do, everything you share, everything that you post, what are you putting out there? Are you being present? Are you being intentional? Or are you just like saying whatever flops out of your mouth or agreeing with the person next to you or saying, uh-huh, sure, because someone else told you to do something instead of you using your own brain and making your own decisions? Like, that's a big, big thing. 
a couple weeks ago I posted this video because I talk a lot with my clients about being present and how important it is that you're actually paying attention to everything that's going on around you and how you're responding and how you're handling things and how you're um, presenting your thoughts, beliefs, desires to the world, right? Really, really important. And so I posted this video because I watched it. It was like an old clip from a, um, an Oprah show. And this was like a really dramatic version of this, but it was still to the point. And what happened was this man, his routine was every morning, you know, he'd get up, he'd grab a cup of coffee, he'd be half asleep still, kind of aggravated because he had to get up early and go to work, and he'd go out to the car, start the car, and leave. Well, that morning, he got up and he went into, to get to his car, and his, his battery was dead. So he had to use his wife's car to start, to jump start his car in the garage, right? So he did that, and was still aggravated, then obviously running late, he gets into his car and leaves, pulls out of the driveway, leaves for work. He, like him and his wife usually talked at the same time every day. She didn't answer the phone. He called again, she didn't answer the phone. So he left and went home because he was worried. And he walked in and his dogs, he had two dogs and his wife were dead. What happened is he had left the car running. He had left when he, that morning was in a rush, not paying attention, in going through the motions. He started her car to jump his, he left his car or her car running, was in a hurry, not present in the moment, left, not ever even realizing that he left her car on, and the carbon monoxide killed his family. Again, very drastic, dramatic version of how not being present, but it's the same thing. How many times have you driven home? And you get there, you get to your street, you don't remember a bit of the drive because you weren't really paying attention. You were like on autopilot. It's not cool. Like, and these are just examples, but this is the way that people navigate through their life on a daily basis. Like, it's so important that you're paying attention and you're present in your own thoughts, in your own reactions, in what's going on around you. Not only is that going to give you the ability to live your life on purpose, it's going to be the, give you the ability to get what you want, get the information that you want, create better relationships with people around you, and just overall create that better life that you're looking for. Hey, Michael. What's up? So that's just my, these are just my really quick spiel. And like, I wanted to just make that clear. Like people ask me, what does it mean to live your life on purpose? Well, it means to take freaking control of what's happening and turn it into what you want it to be. Turn your life into what you want it. Make that idea in your mind to come to life. Like you have the power to do that. And you know how? Like the big thing, the big like this is, guys get ready because it's like so secretive. Can you tell that I'm BSing you right now? No. No. It's not a secret. But it's something that nobody ever wants to talk about, nor do they ever want to admit to. But the way that you live life on purpose, the way that you get everything that you want, the way you create the reality that you choose there's the word, is you make the freaking choice. And you don't just make it once. You don't say, well, I'm going to live on purpose. I'm going to have this life that I see in my mind. No, it's not that simple. You make the choice every day. Numerous times every day you make the choice. You choose. And based off of the choices that you make all day long, every single day, that creates your reality. 100%. You guys could think I'm crazy. You can tell me I'm bullshit. It's not that easy. It is that easy. It takes discipline. It takes being freaking aware, being present, making the choice, the choices that you may not want to make. It's what it comes down to. And it's all about what's important to you. And that's okay. If you choose to want to be home by four o'clock every single night and spend the entire evening with your family, that's your choice. If you choose that you want to take off every single Friday so you can go golfing, that's your choice. If I choose that I want to work Tuesdays and Thursdays until 7 p.m., which is what I do, my choice. If other people get pissed off because I can't make it to something on a Tuesday or Thursday evening, guess what? My choice. It doesn't matter what they think. It matters about the world that I've created and the reality that I've created. It's 100% a choice that you make every single day you aren't happy with your body or fitness, you choose to ignore it. You choose to not go to the gym. You choose to eat a packet of Oreos. You choose to do that. 
if you don't like your business the way that it is, but you choose to not respond your emails timely or not check your voicemail every day or not turn your paperwork in time and on time, again, these are choices. And what I mean by this is if you were to flip those and you were to do the counterpart of those choices, if you were to get up and go to the gym every day, if you were to eat healthy every day instead of cookies, if you were to be active and sleep enough, you may be more happy with your fitness. You know, if you choose to answer your phone calls and have a positive attitude at work, turn your stuff in on time and do a focused, good job at what you're supposed to be doing. You know, be a prompt responder to your clients and your emails. You're going to be more successful in business because you make those choices. That is really, really what it comes down to. And it's as simple as that. And it kind of sometimes takes someone else breaking it down for you for you to really see I mean, think about your day to day. Think about things that you chose one way or the other. I mean, honestly, personally, I am about an hour behind on my own work because I chose to spend extra time on something else earlier today. Stupid choice. Sure. Maybe, but I chose to, but I still know I have to get this stuff done. So here I am. I'm going to sit in my chair an extra hour a day because I chose to. You know, it's a small thing, but it's it's just absolutely the truth. And it, it absolutely is just something that comes with, like, again, you are very, you just need to be aware of what you're doing. And that is how you live your life on purpose. And that's how you create the things that you want. Like, for those, there's a, there's a lot of people in here that watch me do these live streams that have known me for a lot of years. And I've always had a great outlook and always been super positive. But to watch the person that was held back with my hands kind of tied behind my back at my old job where I I was constantly being questioned and treated a certain way and told no on all the things that I knew would fix their problems. And I was frustrated and I was overworked and I was tired and I was sick. To go from that to the person that I sit today where I love my job, I help people all over the world. I've created this place where I can work from wherever I want. You know, this is just an example. But I'm living proof that by making the choices and being aware, you can create the life that you want and live on purpose. So I could go on and on and on about this, but I'm not going to. So, because who's got time for that? I'm just kidding. But we'll continue. Obviously, I'll continue talking. If anybody has any questions specifically about this, if they're having trouble, like getting really clear and and can, like having that... Um, discipline or that accountability that they need to make these decisions and stop bad habits to like stop killing their dream like literally like you're stuck in a freaking rut like I get it we've all been there we all get there even people who do you know coaching consulting services for a living the things that they're coaching and consulting you on they themselves have moments where they need training on that too or they need assistance it happens. It's definitely, I got stuff popping up here. It's definitely something that it's okay to admit that you're stuck in a rut or you feel kind of stuck or you don't really know or you're not really happy with like where you're at. It's okay to admit that, but it's not okay to admit that and to do nothing about it. So I challenge each of you to be really, really aware of your actions and be really aware of how you react and be really aware of how present you are in each moment. And I bet that you'll see a very, very big difference. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. Um, We have four days. Let me see. Yeah. Four, five days left in my boot camp enrollment. So if you want to admit that you need support and you actually want to make changes in your life and live on purpose and take control, make it all work out. You can jump in this boot camp. It's super inexpensive to join. It's six weeks. Um, I create really, really custom personalized plans and things for every single person in there. And it's going to be really uh, life-changing. It's not scary. It's not hard. It's not going to be hard. You just got to be honest with yourself and allow that, allow the processes to work for you. And then I'm there to support you and hold you accountable throughout that entire six-week process as well. So it's actually really, really... Um, a game changer point blank it really is anybody that I know who's who's witnessed the type of transformational work that I do 
through whether it's through their business management, believe it or not, like I've changed people's personal lives through managing their businesses, um, or through my power sessions that I've done in the past, like it's a game changer. It makes it makes a big difference. So anyway, this isn't about that, but I'm just throwing it out there. You have four, no, five days left. It starts on Monday. So um, if you're on the fence and you don't really know and you want to talk about it, send me a message. Um, or you can go to the URL and there's a spot there we can actually like chat live or we can chat live through Facebook, whatever you want to do. But anyways, the, uh, the website is, it's bit.ly, so B-I-T dot L-Y slash goal dash B-C. So it's goal diggers boot camp is what it's called. So it's goal slash B-C. And I'll put a link in the bottom if you're interested. But anyways, please, like I said, please accept that challenge. Go out there today or tomorrow because today's almost over, but start right now. Please start right now. Start paying attention to what's going on around you. Start being really intentional with your thoughts, being really freaking present in what you're doing. And I guarantee you, you'll see a very big difference in a lot of things in your life. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Go kick some ass and I will talk to you soon.